¿Qué cambios propondríais para el festival? Primero que ya participen de una vez el Big Five en, el, en las semifinales como normal, no simplemente un minuto de ensayo, sino que participen de normal. Yo creo que si ya tenemos que participar en semifinales, pues ya es cuando creo que ya ni pasamos, ¿vale? Other countries want to pay more money, Sweden wants to pay more money, Russia wants to pay more money, but they're saying no, we don't want you to pay more money, and at the same time we don't want you to be part of the Big Five. Italy doesn't pay that much money, yet it is part of the Big Five. The whole thing is completely unfair. I like the idea of the, uh, you know, the, the song that the country's using their native language. I think that's really important. I agree. I, I love uh, people using their own language. I understand why they use English, but I think sometimes it's fun to be different and use your own language. It's yours, and you're representing your country. Why not speak your language? Sistema de votación, a ver cómo funciona este año. Yo después del año pasado estaba muy de acuerdo en que había que cambiarlo porque el top 9 se llevó todos los puntos y los demás, vamos, entre el noveno y el décimo había 40 puntos de diferencia. Era como, ¿qué? I want the orchestra back. Yeah, I want the orchestra back. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The live big orchestra. How long have you been preparing your hair for this occasion? Well, that oh. took quite a while. Yeah, yes, yeah. about two days. Wow. Yeah. And how much hairspray? <laughs> well, that... That depends, it's more glue, that's it, yeah. <laughs> the other thing that I would change is I would completely ban the flags. It's always obstructing the view and it's completely unnecessary. Digital flags can appear on the screen for 170 million viewers. Those in the arena are just a very small percentage and their, you know, their presence should not distract the viewing quality of a great show. I would allow more people on stage because um, with the modern kind of stage um, you have so much room sometimes and I would allow maybe six or seven people coming uh, people coming on stage. Would you like China to be in Eurovision as Australia is now? Um, we hope so, but it's hard to say. I think that uh, our uh, own country should uh, vote for our... Uh, like if I'm from Sweden, I will vote for Sweden. Oh, you just want to win every year! Yeah! <laughs> I would like to bring back where it comes to the allocation of countries. I think I would like us to be random rather than the producers deciding. I don't think the problem is the rules. Okay. Yeah. But what is the problem? Music. <laughs> yeah. Actually. I like it. Like, yeah, yeah, music and the shows, they are just like quite cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's part of the Eurovision that they are like very glamorous and out of this world and that's the, that's the like the song. How do you, that's the spirit. Well, I have to say, sorry, you said it was too glamorous and you are having a super glamorous picnic here. <laughs> we are. We have like chips and champagne beer class. Very good. Champagne? <laughs> yeah, of course. I would change how expensive Stockholm is as a city. <laughs> I would say that you have to have an up-tempo song, so no slow songs for the mood. So I think Stockholm this year did a very good thing. We're mixing the fans and the press together with accreditation at Euroclub. It creates a much better vibe for everybody. So I hope they can take that further to the next winning country and so on. Some people say that Sweden likes to change the festival and make it um, according to the Melody Festival. And do you agree with that? Um, after all, it's not Sweden who makes the decisions, so they can give ideas and it's EBU who decides them. And it's not by accident that Melody Festival is the most popular national selection outside of, across all of Europe. Every Eurovision fan watches it and there's reasons for that.